Guys, I recently gave away my all-time favorite charger, which is the Hoda D6 Duo Pro. It has two ports on the front, it had a phone charger on the top, and it can plug into an AC adapter into the wall, or it could be used with an XT60 out the back for field charging. Now, I wanted to get an upgrade to that charger this year, so I requested this one for review. It's the Q200 Neo. We're gonna check this out on the bench today. It is a quad charger, so I have four ports on this one. It also works from an XT60 DCN in the back and an AC adapter for bench charging. So we'll see how this one compares and if it'll do the job this year for my daily bench and field charger. Let's go ahead and take a look at it now. All right, guys, let's just jump into taking a look at this new charger. It is from Sky RC. It's the Q200 Neo, and it's an AC-DC four-port charger that will charge a variety of different types of batteries, LiPos, HVs, and Lions, probably the most popular. It also does one to six S batteries, and it's $149. And right now it has 23 reviews at five stars on the Banggood website. So that's pretty cool. But one of the reasons that I got this, aside from it kind of standing out on their website, it's purple, and it, it, when I looked a little bit closer, it had pretty good specs on here, and I thought, well, I'll give this a chance for this year to be my bench charger, and I'll give away my Hoda D6 Duo Pro to my friend Brandon, who we featured on the channel this month. Uh, we gave him an O3 quad Cinewoop to get started in FPV, and I also you know, gave him my all-time favorite charger. So I needed something that I could replace it with, and I'm hoping, hoping that the Q200 Neo will do it for me this year. This is also the same company that made that super tiny little B6 Neo. You guys remember that little multicolor, um, kind of ultra portable little 6S charger? That one's super cool. It's probably around $26. Um, but this one's much more expensive, but more of a dedicated bench charger for me. And I think it's going to do what I need it to do. But let's dive a little closer into this charger now and let me show you some of the specs and kind of how it operates so this is the charger itself and it fooled me when i first took it out of the box because it has this flat spot across the top and i thought whoa this has also wireless charging on top for my phone but they don't have wireless charging on this but they do have bluetooth which is kind of cool so you can download the app from the app store uh, it is sky charger once you open up that app you can allow Bluetooth, and then once this turns on, you can connect to here, and you can see the charge status of your battery. You can make changes, you can set up things, uh, and that's pretty cool. We did have a charger on the channel a while back that was smartphone controlled, and it's just kind of cool to, to be able to walk around your house and see charge updates as your battery is charging. Now I have the AC adapter that comes along in the box plugged into the back right here. It does say AC 100 to 240 volts, so it is also uh, EU and US certified. Large fan in the back right here for cooling all the electronics while they're charging, and DC input from 10 to 30 volt on the back with that XT60, which is kind of cool for field charging. But let's go ahead now and let's plug it in. Let me show you the load up screen. Probably the most important advice that I can give anybody is never to leave your batteries unsupervised while charging and it's cool to see that they have that kind of there on the screen once that uh, is on the screen for a few seconds it does disappear and take us right to the main screen here for a b c d ports now if we want to select in between which ports we're on we can use the port button to just press that it'll take us full screen to that port we're on number a and as you can see it, it does flash uh, on the main screen which is cool it kind of lets you know which uh, port that you're actually on so we press it again it takes us to B and each of these are also color-coded Which is kind of cool So if I glance across the room once I get used to this charger I'll know what port I'm charging on just by kind of looking at the color if I can't see which one it is Now also long press here will take us to the main system menu and in here you can change the beep the charge time and all kinds of different settings in here you can reset to factory settings and also see what firmware you're on so if we go all the way to the bottom here go to the back button that will take you back out to the main screen and another way you can select which channel it's on it's actually using the jog wheel so you can see the a is flashing if we scroll to the right it takes us down to b c and d let's just click on that and it takes us over to d so now we're over here on this port this is d now let's go ahead and charge up one of my 6S batteries that I have here. So I'm just going to plug this into the front port right here. This is the B port. Plug in the XT60 and 
going to start with the negative side to the right on the balance lead. And it's not going to let you plug it in wrong. So it has some notches on the very top of your balance connector. So I plug that in. I'm going to start to see some info, but not yet because I'm on port A right here. So we're going to have to scroll over to port B. And that's when you're going to see some information pop up. And it's, it's pretty big to see. So if you need glasses, this is kind of nice because it does show you the battery voltage quite large and a little bit larger here for my per cell battery voltage here, which is kind of nice. And we can see up at the top, it says LiPo, 6S, balance, charge. That's what it's set to right now. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do. We also have how much milliamp and wattage down here and the time elapsed. Now, if we go ahead and click on the jog wheel button there, it'll take you into charge setting. And this is where we can change like uh, the type of LiPo that it is. I don't know that it has auto on here, the D6 Duo had auto, which is kind of cool. So it, was, it would detect how many cells are in your battery. And um, it did not detect what type of battery it was though. So let's go ahead and press on this again. And it's a much larger display on the right here for the types of batteries as well. So LiPo, LiHV, LiFE, Lions, Nickel Cadmium, Nickel Metal, PB there. So I'm gonna go to LiPo, because that's what we're gonna charge. It doesn't appear to be an HV one, so we're just going to charge that standard LiPo to 4.2 volt there at 3 amp. Uh, that's a little much. And a lot of times what I like to do for the longevity of my batteries is charge around, uh, say, we can do 1.3 amp on this one. And that's kind of a standard charge. So we're going to go down to start. And once we do that, it's going to give us an automobile beep. And it's doing its thing. And it's kind of cool that it has a little... Uh, update there. Maybe when you walk by you can see that your your bars increase all the way to 100% uh, as well as your voltage here, amps here, how many milliamps we're putting back into the battery, the watt, the current watt 29 to 30, the time elapsed, and you can see that all my cells are balancing here. So uh, let's just get a little further into it. it. shows us a little more information there. People like to see that as well. And we can also switch to a different port. Uh, which is kind of cool. So if you want to go ahead and set up other batteries, you want to do different types of batteries, like if you want to do a Lion on this port, or you want to do a nickel metal over here for your RC cars, you can have that option on this charger, which is cool. So back to the main screen now, it shows us all four ports up right there. So let's check out the Bluetooth. Now, if you're still watching this experience with my Q200neo right now, Congratulations, because you're about to see something super cool. Inside the manual, it gives us two options for connecting to the charger. Outside the main charger interface, you can use Bluetooth on your phone from the Sky Charger app. Download that, install it on your Android or iOS, uh, which is awesome. Also, on the PC or the Mac, if you go to SkyRC website, you can download Charger Master. Once you plug in a data cable to the USB 3D point, uh, PD 3.0 port right there, you can see all your data in real time. If you're a data nerd like I am with batteries and cells and voltage and all that, you're going to love this. Uh, you can scan the QR code here to download the app. And let's go ahead and go into the app. Let me show you this real quick. So you can select all the different cells here. Same thing on the Charger Master. We're going to go to channel B there, which is where our 6S battery is. I'm going to select 6 here to make sure that we have battery cells, battery type. Uh, my operation mode is balance charge. We're going to go to next. And we're going to set to 1.3 amp like we had before. This is a 1300 battery. So we're going to press start right here. And look at that magic. Isn't that cool? So you can start and stop batteries. And once it starts, you have this beautiful display screen here, which shows us that we're doing balance charge, the battery type, battery cells, current amps, voltage, current voltage, which is awesome. How much capacity of milliamp we're putting in, the duration, the fuel gauge, which it'll go up to 100% right now, 69 to 70%. And it shows me my charger temperature in Fahrenheit, which is awesome because a lot of times China doesn't care about Fahrenheit uh, so it's nice to see Fahrenheit on this charger for people in the US and it gives us battery icons right down there charging all the way up to four bars there I can also stop here as well so and if I want to I can switch to different ports on the charger say I'm going to start up another charge from my phone uh, you can operate pretty much all of the different features on this charger from the phone now one thing I'm going to help you out with if you just got this charger and your phone's not working with this software, you need to do a firmware update. Um, 
And it's really cool because the first time you load this up and it connects to the charger, it's going to say, would you like to update the firmware? Say, yes, you would. It'll take about five minutes to go through that process, update this. I highly recommend doing that because it won't start a charge from this without doing that, uh, or at least for mine, it didn't. And make sure you also select the, the, the current number of cells. Uh, if you don't do it here, it doesn't automatically see it once you select the current number of cells it will start charging. Now, as far as the charger master goes, I can also start and stop things and make changes from that as well. Okay, so after you've installed charger master to your Mac or PC, go ahead and restart it, plug in your data cable, and if it shows you that it's charging your laptop, it will do two different types of things. It'll charge your laptop, and you can select it to be in data mode, or you can set it to auto. Uh, if you long press on the jog wheel here, it'll take you to the system menu. Go ahead and go into system setting there in the charger, and you're going to scroll down to USB. So we're going to go to USB. Right now it's set to data. Uh, and again, I can change it to auto or charge. So I can charge my laptop from here if I don't have my laptop charger, which is kind of cool. Uh, but we're going to leave it on data right now because inside the app right here, this is... A voltage display screen uh, as well as how many milliamps I'm putting in there balance charge it has system settings you can go in here and change the battery type right here by pressing the uh, little system menu wheel uh, I can change from different cells we can do operation charge discharge storage charge and we could change the amp uh, that we're deciding to charge at so we're charging at 1.3 amp right there I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and everything's pretty much set up so I'm just gonna press this little play button here when I do that, system page must be quit. Okay, so it's given us a, a warning that we have to get out of the system menu. So now let's go ahead and go all the way back to the main menu. I'm on channel B. And again, you can select different channels here. I'm going to go ahead and press play again. It gives us a little audible beep on the charger. And now we see that this data is starting to come in on the screen right here. So we have red line and we have a blue line here. Now the, the red line is the voltage, and this is the amp that's being put in. So right now we're at 1.3, and you can see from 0.6 here, might be hard to see on your screen, but all the way up to 1.6, from 0.6 to 1.6, and this is gonna fluctuate probably from 0.3 here, because that's our maximum charge. Now the voltage is at 1.4 there, and it's going uh, up and down, but we can see all of this data on here. Now at the bottom of the screen, we also have status balance charge. We have the voltage current, uh, current amperage, capacity, the watts that we're using, the watt hours, system temperature, and we have the time elapsed, the cells, one, two, three, and four, five, and six cells right there for that LiPo. And that's pretty neat to see all that information right on my PC. Now I also am seeing that the app from the Bluetooth is working as well as the software on my computer at the same time. So I didn't think that both of them would work at the same time, but apparently the USB data cable and Bluetooth works at the same time for this Q200 Neo. So I think that's pretty cool. This thing is pretty advanced. So when I originally told Brandon that I was going to bring him out my D6 Duo Pro and I knew I had this coming in the mail, I had no idea that this charger would do all of this. So I'm pretty happy that I, I did give away my D6 Duo Pro because when I gave it away to Brandon, I thought, oh man, um, you know, this kind of hurts a little bit. I'm giving away my, my favorite charger um, to, to a longtime friend of mine. But you know what? Sometimes the gods like shine on you when you do something good and you do something nice so I, i'm happy that i i gave it to him he's able to start with that charger as a brand new guy i gave him a full explanation of how it works and his wife on how it works and never to leave these batteries unattended and all that but he's super stoked to have a two port charger to get him started with all the converters he needs for xt30 and xt60 and all that stuff but now i have an upgraded bench charger and I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you know, I, I, I want to be skeptical about everything that I get at first uh, until I really find out how it's going to function. And I'm happy with the functions. You know, thumbs up to Sky RC for creating a really cool charger. I, I feel like I, I wish it had the um, wireless charging for my phone, but I can still plug it into the bottom of my phone here. I have the iPhone 15, which has 
the USB-C port there. So, uh, or you know, if I want to, I can get an adapter for USB-C to a lightning cable. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use it exactly how it's set up. Um, and I'm really enjoying being able to, to, to really tech out on all of the data that the program, the Charge Master gives me, as well as this one. Being able to kind of walk around the house with Bluetooth, see all this information right there is it's pretty handy, um, and again, if you're if you're brand new to charging lipos, don't ever leave these unattended. Uh, don't leave the room, honestly. Don't go take a shower. Don't drive to the store and get a drink um, because these these batteries can burn your house down. So you want to be super careful with these and maintain them uh, properly and store them properly with a storage bag and also sometimes ammo tins, which I use. But if you want to learn more about lipos, lipo charging, and really get into it on our channel, as far as the FPV hobby is concerned, you want to subscribe because we're going to see some super cool, fun stuff coming up. I have some incredible things to show you in 2024. So as you can see, Sky RC is uh, uh, definitely raising the bar for software and Bluetooth capability for multifunction chargers. Four ports on this baby, uh, 150 bucks. Ah, I, 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 I dare I say, I think it's worth it. Uh, but again, you can check out our, our, our link down below. It benefits the channel. If you don't want to, I'm not forcing you to buy anything. You can do what you want to do. This is YouTube. So I appreciate you for watching. Please do subscribe again, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.